Section D, Essay 5. Seco is a sheet metal manufacturer whose customers are mainly in the automobile industry. The company's chief engineer, Steve Simpson, has recently presented a proposal for automating the drilling department. We have three departments, cutting, grinding, and drilling. This is the department that is being considered to be automated. Okay. The proposal recommended that Seco purchase from Service Corp two robots that would have the capability of replacing the eight direct labor workers in the department. Currently, eight workers work in drilling department, so they will be replaced by the, these two robots. The cost savings in the proposal included the elimination of direct labor cost, of course, plus the elimination of manufacturing overhead cost in the drilling department as Seco charges manufacturing overhead on the basis of direct labor cost using plant-wide rate. Since the current application rate, which you call the overhead application rate or recovery rate or absorption rate, or application rate, whatever you want to name it, the current basis are based upon labor cost. Let me show you how. Our average annual direct labor cost is 4 million. Our average annual manufacturing overhead cost is 2 million, 20 million. So your overhead cost is what percentage of your labor cost? We can calculate 20 million upon 4 times 100, 500%. So this 500% is your application rate. In other words, manufacturing overhead is 500% of your direct labor cost. Or simply, for every $1 spent on direct labor, overhead is $5. Either 500 of direct labor or just $5 per one dollar of labor cost. So they believe, of course, you can argue that since the, the labor cost is being eliminated in drilling department, the base is gone, so they believe that the overhead is gone as well. That's quite, uh, well, naive. They are being naive. How can overhead cost be eliminated? You are just uh, automating your production system. It doesn't mean overhead cost is going away. Right? So they believe that's their belief. Plus, the cost saving in the proposal included the elimination of direct labor cost, true, plus the elimination of manufacturing overhead cost in the drilling department as Seco charges manufacturing overhead on the basis of direct labor cost using the plant wide rate. So, elimination of labor doesn't mean the overhead will go away. Your, if your application base goes away, it doesn't mean the overhead isn't there, rent is there, insurance is there, property tax is there, depreciation is there. Plant managers and supervisor salaries are there. Fixed costs are there. Seco controller Keith Hunter gathered the information shown below in Exhibit 1 to discuss the issue of overhead application at the management meeting at which the proposal was approved. So as we said, this is the average labor cost, average manufacturing cost, and this is the application rate. They have split this into uh, these three departments. This 4 million is basically 2 million from cutting, 1.75 million labor cost rate to grinding, and this 250,000 drilling, this is what is being automated, is being replaced with machines. So the total of these 1, 2, and 3 all department is 4 million, which is given right here. Average annual overhead cost is split in departments. Cutting department plus grinding plus drilling gives you a total of 20 million given right here. So, this is the total result and this is the breakup of the above numbers. Okay, now what do we need in the first question? It says using the information from Exhibit 1, describe the shortcomings of system of, uh, of the system for applying overhead that is currently used by Seco. What the system they are currently using, they have a single blanket rate, a single rate for all plant-wide rate. There is, there is no departmental rate. They have just a single rate, 500% of direct labor cost. Like for example, if I want to apply manufacturing overhead in cutting department, I will simply take 500% of uh, 2 million, that is my manufacturing overhead absorbed for cutting. 500% of 1.75 million, it's my manufacturing overhead absorbed in grinding and so on. So single rate that is applicable in all departments, rather than finding separate departmental rates, that's the issue. So, 
what are the shortcomings of the system for applying overheads that is currently used by seco currently seco is using plant wide rate a single rate applicable on all departments since the activities in these departments is different cutting department has a different type of work grinding department has a na different nature of work drilling different how can we have the same base for all that's the problem in a plant wide manufacturing overhead rate is acceptable only if the items are similar they undergo th same processes all the or single product is being manufactured when you have different activities like grinding cutting and drilling how can we have a single plant wide rate that that's a problem because we do not have uh, similar products undergoing the same procedures equally that's why plant wide is not suitable in this organization so then why department lower rates are preferable departmental overhead rates will identify which department has resulted in cost overrun so that they can be asked to explain cost overrun can be identified then we can take some corrective actions to control cost otherwise if we have a single blanket rate for the whole company how would we know which department is incurring more cost than the allowed or standard allowed cost so that's why the first benefit is that we will have a mechanism to assess the cost overruns second when we have separate departments we will have sufficient information for product profitability so we will know which problems are being caused by which product where which products are more expensive to manufacture it will also help us in, in setting suitable prices for our products for external sales this much would be sufficient next question recommend two ways to improve seco methods of applying overhead in cutting and grinding departments these two departments cutting and grinding because drilling is being automated and two robots would be employed to to make goods in this department so what are the outlines establish separate overheads for departments we should establish separate overhead accounts for each department each department should have its own overhead second select an application base each department is different the work nature is different maybe this department uh, uses more machinery machine hour is suitable grinding department involves more labor so labor hour is suitable so the next point is select an application base first you need to separately accumulate the overheads of these three departments or these two specifically we are talking about cutting and grinding so you need to accumulate the overheads first and then select the suitable base machine hours labor hours or sometimes number of units can be the base as well then further within grinding we can split the overheads into variable and fixed components variable and fixed components and then we can still have further this is further refinement we can have separate application bases for these this will make this uh, application much refined and more ap appropriate for cost controlling and and uh, cost accuracy purposes right so establish separate overheads for each department split them into variable and fixed and then select application bases for these variable cutting fixed cutting variable grinding fixed grinding we can have separate allocation bases this will be more accurate and better cost allocation system and just on these lines you can give your response and it will be sufficient to get you the full credit next recommend two ways to improve seco's method of applying overhead to accommodate automation of drilling department since drilling department is going to be automated labor is going to be uh redundant made redundant this department will primarily involve manufacturing overheads most of the cost would be fixed the appreciation of robots if they are insured the insurance premium poured on the machinery so the most depreciation and, and insurance they could be a sizable part of the cost right so this is the first thing that you will notice manufacturing overhead fixed component would be major part of the overall cost build up so we need to split fixed and variable and then just like in the previous case we need to find separate bases 
fixed overheads in this uh, cut drilling department it will be driven by machine hour because we are using robots and then the variable could be based upon uh, the number of units or any other suitable basis could be percentage of prime cost as well since labor is almost eliminated so number of units would be more appropriate so establish overheads for this specific department separately split the manufacturing cost of drilling into fixed and variable and select the suitable basis of fixed and variable and then apply accordingly right so this is the way we have a much refined form of cost allocation called abc where we split our cost in different activity cost pools this is the best way to allocate cost it will result in most the, the most accurate cost allocation amongst products and services one step behind these are the departmental overhead rates we have different departments like in this cutting drilling and and uh, grinding we can further split them into fixed and and variable still good but what we have a conventional system where we have a single blanket rate of manufacturing overhead rate and is applicable on all product this is the most inappropriate further refinement is just splitting this a single manufacturing overhead cost pool into fixed and variable one step is departmental and this is the best so this is you can move from worst to the best a single rate mixed combined variable and fixed next step split fixed and variable next step split into different departments and find the two separate rates fixed and variable and then go to the most appropriate cost allocation system abc where we identify different activities and then we allocate the cost based upon the consumption of activities so on so that would be the answer that i think i have overdone it you need to just keep your answer to just this point only it's sufficient okay same thing establish separate cost pools identify fixed and variable overheads and then find a suitable base for these fixed and variable of course you will use machine hours because you are using robots next question number 3 uh the last one question number 4 explain the misconception underlying the statement that the manufacturing overhead costs in the drilling department would be reduced to zero if the automation proposals were completed as i just said that is quite a, a naive approach because your application base labor hours labor cost is being eliminated it doesn't mean that the manufacturing overhead in the drilling department would over insurance for machinery in this department depreciation of machinery especially these robots that will be used could be a sizable expense so this was quite an inappropriate uh, point to to raise that the, the fixed cost would be or the manufacturing over is going to be go away so labor hours are zero yes but it doesn't mean the manufacturing over it becomes zero fixed manufacturing expenses depreciation uh, insurance of machinery and facilities plant supervision they will continue to be incurred these costs will be incurred robots is likely to increase the fixed overhead cost so saying that uh, the fixed manufacturing overhead cost would be reduced to zero is is not uh, the right thing to say rather we would say that manufacturing overhead would increase because first the the manufacturing cost was composed of direct material direct labor and manufacturing overhead now this part is being eliminated resultantly this manufacturing overhead will swell it will become a larger part of the manufacturing the cost not the total cost i'm saying i'm saying the manufacturing overhead compared to the previous cost it would be higher so saying manufacturing overhead would be reduced to zero is not the right thing to say and this on these lines you can just extend the idea to get the full credit the asset id is over